once thought to be a planet of the solar system, but no longer is. Pluto was a planet. Some committee of fancy assholes disagree. I disagree back. Give me a ping pong ball. Um, uh, okay. Uh it's not often that a game releases that not only confuses my mind, but entertains my ears, pleases my eyes, and causes my hands to drop the controller in confusion and stupidity. But 2020 has been a weird year as it is. No Straight Roads is a music-based platforming title that has just released. With its complex and music-based gameplay, but its childish and confusing delivery, No Straight Roads is one of this year's weirdest titles. The story of No Straight Roads is a great premise, and as a man who loves rock and roll, I was immediately hooked. You'll play as Mayday and Zook, who are part of an indie rock band who set out to free the city, aptly named Vinyl City, from the evil EDM empire. EDM standing for electronic dance music. The story, graphics and sound is where No Straight Roads shines. Playing as a guitarist Mayday or drummer Zook, freeing a city from EDM pulls straight on my heartstrings. No Straight Roads establishes that the music in this world is converted into energy which is used to power the city. Mayday and Zook enter a American or Australian or whatever country you're from versions of that country has talent. The start of the game works as a tutorial where you'll learn how the game works, but you'll also play, and by play I mean defeat robots with music, it's weird, in front of judges who then fail you and rule out that rock has no place in the city and EDM must rule. Mayday and Zook set out to use the power of rock to remove EDM from Vinyl City, and well that's basically the set out of the game. Mayday and Zook are the playable characters in No Straight Roads. Mayday will use her guitar as a melee weapon and deal a decent amount of damage, but will be slower than Zook. Zook is a drummer who uses drumsticks in combat and is quicker than Mayday's guitar-based attacks. While Zook is quicker and more combo-based than Mayday, he does deal less damage. Both Zook and Mayday will not only have melee attacks, but ranged attacks too when they pick up these musical notes. With these notes, Mayday can play her guitar and fire ranged attacks, while Zook pretends to play the drums, but it does the same thing. Again, it's kinda weird. By holding down the triangle or Y button, Zook and Mayday will play music, which transforms items. The gameplay is a little bit like a kid's version of Devil May Cry meets Mario Odyssey, but it is surprisingly challenging. Graphically, No Straight Roads is an interesting mix. The bright neon lights and designs is similar to that of the Splatoon series, but also a little bit of Jet Set Radio. Randomly, the game will go from a 3D based character models to 2D cartoons for dialogues and cutscenes. As you can see here, approaching a character who has dialogue, we can clearly see them on the screen, but they'll transition into a 2D character and provide dialogue. Yet in other cutscenes, there'll be 3D character models acting and performing dialogue as you normally would expect. It's a bit strange, and it's like the dev team couldn't decide whether they wanted to do 2D or 3D animations for their cutscenes. Now, the sound design in No Straight Roads is pretty great, and honestly, I would listen to this music outside of playing the game. The music is even better when you're going up against EDM bosses. The music will start off as EDM, but as you start to deal damage to the boss, the music will slowly transition into rock. And there's a music slider at the top of the screen that will change from EDM to rock as you progress. However, the gameplay for No Straight Roads is flat up baffling, to the point where I gave up caring about the story, any cutscenes or dialogue entirely. No Straight Roads starts off with a America's Got Talent, X Factor, American Idol, some crap music entertainment based show tutorial, where the game will teach you about avoiding and countering attacks that are in time with the game's music. Makes sense. And after this tutorial, you've got about 20 minutes or so, maybe a bit less of cutscenes with intolerable characters and dialogue that feels like it's made for kids. The game even moves to a somewhat side-scroller for a moment where it delivers more story, and it had me thinking that the game had side-scroller elements like Mario where you'd move between levels and worlds. Then immediately after this, you'll experience your first boss fight, and honestly, I had no idea what was going on. I understood that I was in a boss fight and that I was transforming items to turn into ranged attacks against the boss, but it was like I was watching the end of Into the Spider-Verse and I just saw flashing colours, random crap and had no idea what was going on. After your first boss fight, you'll then go into a sewer which acts as the base of operations for Mayday and Zuko. You'll then go into a small hub world where you explore and interact with NPCs and move on to the next area where an EDM artist is performing and you'll defeat them. But just like a gym leader in Pokemon though, you'll need to go through these small little sub-areas, defeating small enemies before 
randomly sliding through on... Honestly, I have no fucking idea what's going on here. You'll defeat small enemies, slide and ride on this weird musical bridge thing, and fight more small enemies until you're ready to go up against the boss. Now, as you can tell, I've got some issues with no straight roads. The combat is a bit complex, and it isn't straightforward, which I don't mind, as there are some games like Dark Souls and Jedi Fallen Order and such that require some time to get used to. However, the dialogue, cutscenes, and characters just scream like this game is made for kids. Super not cool. Can't believe they called us naive. Right? That was bulldozer. Bulldozer, you hear me? I feel you, man. I do. The character designs for both 3D and 2D are unique, and I like it. But the game can't decide whether it wants to be 2D or 3D with its game design. When you start dialogue with characters, the screen will zoom in on them, and then 2D versions of that character will appear. Pick a damn lane. Also, the character Zuko plays drums while Mayday uses a guitar. Mayday swings the guitar around and plays it while Zuko plays music with these weird holographic drums. Well, not even really full drums, just the top of one drum. I find it weird that drums were picked as a weaponized instrument rather than a bass or using a microphone and singing or a cowbell. No, we can always use more cowbell. The cutscenes, characters, and attempted comedy even had me audibly groan to the point where Mrs. Doody came into the room. She even attempted to watch some of the cutscenes and gameplay for a moment before getting annoyed and walking out of the room entirely herself. We fight for the little guys! Zook, come here! Put your hand next to mine! Huh? Oh, uh, okay. What are you doing? Just hold up your pinky finger! Oh, like this? No, put your hand next to mine! No, the other side! Oh, okay. A bit more to the right. No, my right. But I was moving to your right. No, you just... Ah, never mind, move left. Like this? More! Left, 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 left! yoo For the little guys! I don't want to live on this planet anymore. No Straight Roads is visually stunning, it sounds fantastic, and the character design is unique, which make these indie titles stand out. But the gameplay and combat, dialogue and characters are all conflicting. It can't decide if this is a game for kids new to gaming, or gamers of all experiences. There were points in the game that I had no idea what was going on. No Straight Roads is also a game that doesn't quite know its intended audience, but the idea of destroying EDM with rock had me intrigued to keep playing. Until I got to a boss fight where I had no idea what was going on to the point where I died and just gave up. No Straight Roads is available now on the Xbox One, the Epic Games Store, the PlayStation 4, and is coming to the Nintendo Switch in September. Now, if you did enjoy this brief and probably a bit harsh video review, a like, comment, share, subscribe would be a great way of helping out me and my new channel. Now, if you did enjoy No Straight Roads, let me know where I got it wrong in the comments below. I'm happy to be proven wrong and come back to it at a later date. Now, if you're excited for Gotham Knights or Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League, keep your eyes peeled to this channel.